yeah, I, I'd say I'm, I'm nervous to meet, meet Mike. Um, he's, he's, a, he's a very important superhero. Um, and he, he's, he's my friend, but, you know, his, his opinion is, is really important to me. So, yeah, I, I'd, I'd, say, I'd say I'm nervous. I'm telling you, man, if you want my honest opinion, you gotta branch out, okay? You gotta branch out. Arithmetic is, what is it, addition? Well, yeah, it's addition, but you know, you also have your subtraction, your multiplication but, tables. But is it math or arithmetic? Well, I don't understand the difference. Arithmetic man and I, we go way back. He always hung out with a, a different crowd. Not bad, just different. Like, like Hygiene Boy. And, uh, oh, what is that chick's name? Grammar Girl. And you were? I was in a team. A group with the Arithmetic Man. I just decided it wasn't for me. So, um, I left the group and they replaced me with Linguistico before they finally disbanded. And what, what changed for you? It was just a thankless task. Even now I'll go into the grocery store. 10 items or less. <laughs> 10 items or less. Can we not get this right? It should be 10 items or fewer. Yes, fewer. <laughs> How hard is that? I think there is some resistance to accepting alternative superheroes. I mean, take what, what Mike Titus does, for instance. He stops freight trains. He's actively ridding the world of nuclear warheads. But, but does that mean that we have to stop doing our homework? There's a kid out there right now who can't figure out the square root of 64 without using a calculator. You know, I, I, I can't, sit, can't sit by and let that happen. I respect what you do. But the problem is that you're not one of these independently wealthy guys like Batman or Tony Stark. You're publicly funded. Right. You're the freaking NPR of superheroes. And I love NPR. Well, I do too. But that don't matter because this is California. Uh, cops are getting laid off. And the budget, well, you know the budget better than I do. So it's only a matter of time, this is a shame, before Hygiene Boy loses funding, Linguistica, and God forbid, Arithmetic Man. Arithmetic Man is a good man. Uh, and, and what he does is critical. But he ain't no space alien freak like Superman. He, he has an apartment. He has rent. He has groceries to buy. So for him to do this public service, my point is he needs to branch out. Get himself a jetpack or something. You'd be surprised how the money starts flowing in and you get yourself a jetpack. I know, I know the lender. He's a local guy. He got me a real good interest rate. Aside from that, it's got some great features, you know? It's got a real sporty interior. You know, this is something that I, I feel could really up my image a bit. And I'm having a great time. This is historic times. Our priorities is our faith. The illiteracy level of our children are appalling. Families is where our nation finds hope, where wings take dream. And those are what? Bush, all Bush era. And, and what do you do now? I work at the Apple store, Santa Monica. I get great discounts, stay busy, and I never have to think about grammar, never. I suppose heroes like me are, are a dying breed. One of my friends, uh, one of my heroes really, uh, Hygiene Boy, you know, he, he's, he's having a hard time. He's, he's struggling right now. You know, he's, he's going through um, so, so many lawsuits. And, you know, he's a public servant, but it is, it's a question of survival. If we're gonna survive, we've gotta make some changes. Joan and Mitchie were getting kind of itchy just to leave the folk music behind. Saul and Denny working for a penny, trying to get a fish on the line. In a coffee house, the bastards sat. And after every number, they passed the hat. McGuinn and McGuire's just to get okay. higher in so, LA. Um, 
What is this? What, what am I looking at? Well, it's it's a comic book. Of you? Yeah, it's 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 of me. <clears throat> you got this commission? Yeah. Well, I guess what I was thinking is is that, you know, kids could pick this up, and and learn about all the adventures they could have with math. Sure, it's a, it's an idea, man. Hell, it's a it's an idea. But... We are in Hollywood, and. I think I think it's possible that something like this can can get picked up into a movie, and well, if that happens, then then I can get some funding, and from there the sky's the limit. <laughs> I mean, stranger things have happened. A romantic man is a a pure soul. He's a pure soul, and he just wants to help people out. My advice to him is just to, to keep doing what you're doing. You know, success will find you if, if, if you love what you do. Success will find you. Um, I, just, I just try to do the best work I can every day. And I just try to stay positive and, and, and committed. And, and ho hopefully, hopefully that bleeds out into the work I do. I'm very optimistic. I, unfortunately, I can't, I can't have cats. I have a moderate to extreme allergy to dander. Um, so I just draw them. I'm kind of across the board here. You know, I've got, I've got your, your classic cat. This, this one here is a tabby. Um, got a Japanese animation cat. Sort of puzzle, puzzled look on its face, you know. I'm not sure what he's puzzled about. If you love what you do, you know, success will find you. I mean, it found me. That's why they call me the human fist. Some say that there's a, a, a more erotic undertone to that name. Can you respond to that? Excuse me? Uh-oh. That's a mad kitty. May maybe, uh, you know, haven't brushed him in a while, you know, or I took away his, his milk. No, kitty, you can't have milk. <laughs> <laughs> I'd sing out love between my brothers and my sisters 